did I become involved as a community health advocate? Well, I always thought I was a community health advocate because I worked for a community health center. Uh, I attended conferences. I spoke to individuals that spoke to me first about uh, my, my business, my job, what I do. What I found out recently is that being an advocate is not waiting for others to come to you before you speak, but speaking out first, showing your passionate side, uh, explaining to anyone who will listen and some who won't listen, where, how they can help uh, to fulfill your passion. I enjoy community health because it's a way to give back to society. It is a way to make society healthier and it is a way to improve uh, job quality, life quality for individuals. I can honestly say that within the past four weeks, I have come to realize that I was a um, a sit in the background advocate, a person who really did not take spreading the word and helping people understand the need as serious as I should have. But what I can do going forward is to make sure that everyone understands that we are here for you and that I can make a difference in your life by giving you an option that's affordable. One of the things that I, I personally have done is to put on my signature for all of my emails, of which I do a lot, uh, information about community health centers and how we are uh, affordable and how individuals can go to uh, www.saveourchcs.org and become advocates. If you are not a familiar with community health centers, but you know about them, then I suggest that you go to the website and read up on who we are and what we do. I suggest that you visit your community health centers and understand exactly how we make a difference in the community that you live in. I suggest that you volunteer. What I would ask individuals that are watching this video to do for me, for the people I work with, for the patients that we serve, for the communities that we all live in, I would ask you to please, please, please talk to all of your uh, state representatives, all of your federal representatives, the one thing for community health centers is we have to have you as our voice. We are small in numbers, but we can be greater if our individual collective selves speak up for us. We have always been the common ground. And if we are the common ground, then that's a starting point. And if we can start that place, save the CHCs, keep them going, keep them in business, keep them funded. As a beginning point, we can go forth from that area and start working out other areas because we are a common ground.